Hey guys, real quick, if you are into Minecraft, you like helpful Minecraft videos, or you just like Minecraft in general, be sure to check out my channel. I do some Minecraft videos that I think you might like. If you want to subscribe, there should be an annotation on the top left. Otherwise, you can visit my channel, subscribe that way. Anyways, guys, now that we've done the shameful plug, let's get started. What's up, guys? My name is Kerr, and in this video today, we're going to talk about resource packs, how to get them, how to install them, what to do, all that stuff. So pay attention. Let's get it going and good luck. First thing we want to do is find a resource pack. Now, there are different ways for us to find resource packs. We either search for them. You'll find a wide variety of resource packs or you search for it by name. You know a resource pack or have seen one another youtuber or minecrafter that you like they have it you want it and you want to get it you just don't know how so first thing we'll do is we'll go by uh, a directory we'll look for resource packs a website that offers different variety of resource packs planet minecraft's a pretty safe place to go so let's take a look at this texture pack good donuts so we click on it it takes us to uh their page and then right here we can go to good donuts download it takes us to another link we click download the green button it'll take us to the bottom left there now we're gonna pause it on good donut and we're gonna search uh, by specific texture pack and then we're gonna show you how we actually take those texture resource pack files and we put them into minecraft so let's go ahead and take a look at a texture pack that I use uh, it's called Sfax. okay bdcraft.net there we go so one thing about BDCraft is they offer a wide variety of things for resource packs. What we're going to actually do is we're going to download their specific Sfax pack, but we're also going to download their sound. The reason why they call it resource packs now and not texture packs is because you can add sound packs. So that's what we're going to do with BDCraft as well. So as you can see, we have BDCraft sounds pack. We'll go ahead and grab that. Pure BDCraft, that's what we want. We're gonna go ahead with the 128. So these are the pages you go to to download them. And it has it set up where you're going to donate. We're just gonna go ahead and not donate. Go with the free version. It takes us to an ad fly. I'm gonna switch over to the sound tab or the actual resource pack tab. And we're gonna download it for 1.8 there. It takes us to another ad fly. We'll skip that. If you don't know about AdFly, it's a way for the creator to generate revenue. Down here in the bottom white area, there's usually stuff that says click here. It's advertisements. Top right, you have to wait until it says skip ad. You click on it, and then it says please wait. So as you can tell, we've downloaded three resource packs on the bottom, and now we're going to show you how to put them in Minecraft. So here's Minecraft, and all we have to do is go to options and go to resource packs here. So now what we have to do is we actually have to take those files we downloaded, put them into the available resource packs folder. So we have to open the resource pack folder. It takes us here. And what you're going to do is open up your downloads folder. I already have the 128 bit version of pure BD Crafts facts, so I don't need to bring that over there. If you don't want to open up Minecraft and you want to get to that folder, what you can do is type in percent app data percent in a Windows run menu. To get to that, you would press Windows R. Now, after you've done that, you can hit dot Minecraft and go into resource packs right here. And that's where you can put all the files. This was exactly the same as if you were to go here to options, resource packs, and open resource packs folder. It's the same thing as you can tell. Now that we have that in there, we can go ahead and open up the resource packs folder. Now you're gonna see that the BD Craft Sounds pack is there. We can move that over. And then the other one that I downloaded, which was, now you can see that actually the one that I downloaded, Good Donut, doesn't show up here. So there's an obvious conflict, and I won't get into that, but it has to do with the way they've set up their um, texture pack or resource pack. So let's just go with uh, Sfax Pure BD Crap. Now, if you look on the right, it shows that I've selected two resource packs. One's a sound pack and one is a texture pack. We'll go ahead and click Done. After you click done, it might say not responding. If it takes forever to say not responding, you've chosen too high of a bit for texture pack. Meaning if you've chosen a 256 by 256 trial 128 uh, version or a 64, the lower the number, it works better on PCs that 
are a little bit older. So maybe you can tell that the sounds are different than what you're normally used to. So if I go, and that's another sound that's a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the sounds are different for chickens. I hear that up there. Looks like a skeleton. I'm not sure how we can get up there to get his attention, but he does sound different as well. But that's my point is that you can get sound packs. There he is. So you can hear that uh, damage sounds different. His bow sounds different. But that's something you can experiment in as well. Not only the texture pack itself, but the sound pack. So anyways, guys, as usual, if you have any questions, leave a comment or send me a tweet on Twitter. If this thing about resource packs has helped you, please leave a like and comment. If you need help with setting up a server or just other Minecraft things in general, take a look at my channel and other videos. My name is Kerr, and until next time.